problem, Kate. You, for a start. You're a handsome chap, but a shallow, cheating bastard. Guilty as charged. <laughs> a gentleman doesn't skulk. <laughs> Struts! Rock some fine thread, put on a show. Confidence is attractive. Don't you worry, Will. I've got this. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Are you really about to smother her? Because if so, not cool. <laughs> what? Marlowe, I told you, I'm not writing you any more plays. <laughs> <laughs> now his shrew's in rehearsal, I was going to have another stab at persuading him to give me his head with a second. He may need it himself. Here's your playback and no hard feelings, eh? Does this mean we can still be mates, then? Of course we can still be mates. You too, Kate. Will you give me your hand? Yes. <laughs> Although you are going to have to toughen up if you want to cut it in a man's world. Does Catherine cut this pervert's throat in the night with a rusty knife? But in the end, I made three great pals. Latin, Greek, and mathematics. Blokes can't stand clever birds. Ooh. He who gives support is a patron. That which sweetens all that it covers be but icing. A great poet is a bard. And the heavens, of course, be starred. <laughs> Put them together and you get... Patron, icing, bard, starred. I'll leave it with you. While I'm away, why doesn't Kate teach you Italian? Do you speak Italian, Kate? Naturalmente che parlo italiano, grande idiota. Oh, right, that was Italian, was it? <laughs> this lad doth have the very gift I gave Kate. It is Kate. Come in disguise, the better to be near me. Gotta dig all that poetry stuff. So sexy. And I've just sent her to declare my love for Sylvia. Awkward? Why not just say boy owns girl and leave it at that? Perhaps displaying your leading lady alluringly clad and in a cage. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Can't believe I've wasted my life a roistering and a rogering when I should have been a worshipping. 